Hello, my name is Florian Kohler. I'm better known as Venom. I'm at Ozone Billiards today, and I'm going to try to show you a very classic trick shot. That's what we call the butterfly. This is a very complicated setup. It's a beautiful shot. It's a really famous shot. It's a, you know, if you do trick shot, everybody's going to ask you about a butterfly. So you got to know it. But the big thing is it's a really, really complicated shot. The first thing I do to set it up is, again, we're going to use a cue. Put a cue right here from diamond to diamond, then another cue from the second diamond, so one, two right here, into the second diamond up there. Once you got that, usually what I do is, uh, let me do that again, so here to here, I'm going to mark the spot with a chalk, so go right under it, leave the chalk, that's perfect. Now you got your spot. From there, mark your spot. So I'm going to put a ball here, and then I'm going to put another ball, cue ball, right here. So the cue ball and the three balls are straight in line, frozen to each other. Once that is done, you remove the three ball, leave the cue ball. Next thing I do is I'm going to set the nine ball here. So I'm going to do a cue going inside the pocket, pretty much. Again, to the right side of the one. Frozen to the cue ball. Frozen to the cue right there. That's number one. Then we're going to take the same color, so yellow, but I'm going to use the one ball there. Put it on the left side. Just like that. Exact same deal. All right, now the next step, we're going to set, let's say, one of the red balls. So I'm going to do 11 ball here. You're going to go to the right side of the nine ball, aim the Q-tip about pretty much the point right here, the point of the, on the rail. Again, so you got the Q, you got a nine ball, put the 11 ball, frozen to the nine, frozen to the Q. Just like that. All right, so the next step, you're just going to do symmetrical, you're going to do the three ball here. So again, it's just the exact same thing than 11. Q here, to the left side of the 1-3, make sure 1-3 is frozen to each other, 9-11 frozen as well. The last part, so I'm going to do the other last stripe, put it somewhere right here. So the big thing is you're going to aim, again, is to remove that, so you're going to go the Q here, and the 10 ball frozen to the nine ball. Again, it's aimed towards the point there. So, I'm going to make sure it's aimed the right spot. And that's pretty much good. On the cue ball part now, so all you want to do is have the cue ball straight in line in between the one and the nine. So you don't want it to be like here or here. It's got to be pretty much just straight in. There's nothing fancy about it. Just like that. Now, from what I've explained to you, all the lines and everything. Remember, it, it might change a little bit. The middle ball shouldn't change at all, but the two balls here, so the 3, the 11, the 2, and the 10, they might change a lot depending on each table. Each table is different. So let's say you're going to miss the 11 ball here, then you got to adjust here. And if you miss the 11 here, then you're going to have to adjust it more that way. So make sure you always look where it's going, which, which is why I use solids and stripe. So the solids on the left side, the stripes on the right side. Just look at every ball, and the ball that misses, just look at where it misses, so you can actually identify. In my case, all I got to do is, you know, if I, if I know that there's only the 11 left on the table, I know it's the top corner ball that missed, and all I got to do is shoot it again and look where it goes and adjust that, you know, to make it. It's a very sensitive shot, but again, it's a very nice looking shot, and uh, you'll impress a lot of friends with that. That's how you do the butterfly the normal way. Let's do it the venom way now. I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, check out us and billiards.com for all your pool supplies.